How you doing, everybody? I was lucky enough to attend an early screening of Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. This was written and directed by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein, and stars Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, and Hugh Grant. Bard Edgin Darvis and Barbarian Holga Kilgore, played respectively by Pine and Rodriguez, have found themselves imprisoned in Icewind Dale after a heist gone wrong. They plan to escape and reunite with Edgin's daughter, and hopefully obtain a magical tablet that can bring Edgin's late wife back from the dead, as she was killed by a red wizard and a simple resurrection spell is not going to cut it. Along the way, they recruit wild magic sorcerer Simon, tiefling druid Doric, and paladin Zenk. And to recover this magical tablet, they must outwit rogue and con artist Forge Fitzwilliam, played by Grant. And while all of this is going on, there's this clan of red wizards that's trying to take over the world by turning everyone into zombies. You know, the usual. This is, of course, the latest attempt at bringing the Dungeons & Dragons franchise to the big screen. The first attempt was all the way back in 2000, and well... <laughs> it was bad. Jeremy Irons overacting was fun and all, but that movie was doomed to fail. Part of that may have been that New Line Cinema was also working on Lord of the Rings around the same time, and hmm, let me see, which high fantasy franchise should we devote more of our time and effort to? Boy, that's a tough one. Despite flopping and flopping hard, it did get two sequels, although in this country they both went directly to the sci-fi channel. And the third only got a DVD release in Europe, and the distributors have since gone bankrupt, so good luck finding it. But I've seen it, and I can tell you, you're not missing much. And that brings us to Honor Among Thieves, and given what happened with this franchise previously, I tempered my expectations. And I was pleasantly surprised. This is actually really good. And the funny thing is, this actually shares some DNA with the 2000 movie. There's a magical maze the characters have to get through, there's the Red Wizards trying to take over the world, even the title Honor Among Thieves comes from the original movie. But despite sharing that DNA, it managed to not suck. The cast did a fantastic job, they all understood their roles perfectly. Pine is the very self-assured bard, maybe a little too self-assured. He's the plans guy. He makes plans. Although, sometimes his plans are of the Arrowverse Team Flash nature. Make the plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails, throw away the plan. Rodriguez plays his barbarian best friend, and she is definitely less prone to nonsense. And she is exceedingly good at beating the ever-loving shit out of people, though she does have a softer side as well. It usually only comes out with Edgin's daughter Kira, or with her romantic interests, which, um... They went in an interesting direction there. Not gonna give too much away, but... She has a type. Her type is definitely not orcs. The opening scene makes that very clear. Justice Smith plays Simon the Sorcerer, who is sort of the bard's opposite in that he has no confidence in his abilities whatsoever. And this is compounded by the fact that he's a wild magic sorcerer, and wild magic doesn't always have the desired effect. Fun times! Sophia Lillis is Doric, a druid, and a bit of a social outcast, as most people don't trust tieflings. But she is fiercely loyal to the Wood Elves who took her in when no one else would, and she can shapeshift into all manner of creatures and does so. My only minor complaint with this character is she looked maybe a little too human for a tiefling, but maybe they were just trying to save money on the special effects. Roger Jean Page is Zenk the Paladin, kind of the straight man of the group. He seems to have had his sense of humor surgically removed, and this puts him at odds with most of the people in the group, really. And Hugh Grant kind of steals the show as Forge the Con Artist. That guy is slimy as fuck. And he is so good at playing this type of character and very funny. I was laughing pretty much every time he was on screen. It's a very funny movie overall, much more so than the 2000 movie, which tried to inject some comedy and failed. This movie was made by people who actually understand how jokes work. And the comedy does not overshadow the more emotional moments. Very good balance overall. And they found a way to work in some jokes that I never thought you could actually do in a fantasy movie, but somehow they pulled it off. There's a joke about microphone feedback. There's like a Milli Vanilli style record skip in a high fantasy movie. I, I could not believe it either, but they pulled it off. And at its core, it's a very good heist movie. The setup and the heist itself work very well. And of course, there's the impending doom with the Red Wizards that our heroes will have to take care of eventually once they're done stealing what they're trying to steal. 
The various locales all look great. I thought they really nailed the Forgotten Realms setting. The action sequences are a lot of fun, especially the big fight at the end, which just goes all out. And very good work on the visual effects, especially the druid shape-shifting. There's a chase sequence where the druid has to keep shifting into different creatures over and over again, and it all looks fantastic. And it works very well as a D&D movie. It feels like an actual D&D campaign that you could conceivably play through. They even got the one guy who only joins the party for one quest and then leaves because that player was only available that one weekend. So what else can I say except they rolled a 20. This was great. It's an entertaining high story. It's exciting. It's funny. It's got a great cast. If you're a D&D fan, this is a must-see. And even if you're not, I think you will still get a kick out of it. If you're not familiar with the source material, there are a few things that might go over your head, like what the hell is a tiefling and why do they look like that? Or who is this balder and what's so special about his gait? But it's entertaining enough that I think you'll still enjoy it. And when the credits roll, wait for the mid-credit sequence. They're not setting up a sequel or anything. It's just one last joke, but it's worth it. And that's all I got to say about Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Till next time, take care.